Trash Taste is a podcast that was started by three prominent YouTubers, Giguk, The Anime Man, and Sea Dog VA. They create video content based around anime, manga, otaku subculture, and traveling in Japan. Back in 2007, I was still in college. I thought, why not try something instead of studying from my exam? And so I ended up scripting, recording, and editing a YouTube video about this anime. And I reviewed it, and I posted it on YouTube. Back when I was a teenager, I really didn't have any friends who liked anime like I did. So I had no one to talk to anime about. So kind of YouTube was my outlet to talk to faceless people on the internet about my passion. I just kept doing that over the years, worked in a job for about three years and I uh, quit it to do YouTube full time. I was studying mechanical engineering in university during the first summer break that you get after first year of really want to do something. And I'd been doing voice acting on my own online for about two years at this point. And I thought, okay, I'm just gonna make a YouTube channel and just make something because I'm bored and I need something to do. I did start making like a little bit of money, which at the time was crazy because you know the thought of being able to make money off something you make. I just continued doing it. And uh, by the time I'd finished my degree, I thought, oh, okay, I'm just about enough to be able to pay rent. And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll give it a go full time. It started from this kind of high school web design project that I did that I had to do for school where each of us had to design and create a website around any topic that we were personally interested in. And as the only Asian kid in my school, and as the only person who liked anime or anything Japanese culture, I figured, well, if I'm going to stand out and you know make an impression on my teacher i should probably do it on something unique so i made a website on anime where i made these horrible anime reviews i, I look back on it now and they're, they're barely reviews and i enjoyed it so much that i decided well i'm probably gonna just keep this website running so i, I kept on writing all these reviews on shows that i watched to the point where i started to get somewhat of an audience and then somebody suggested during the first year of university hey you should make youtube reviews on anime so i posted my first youtube video and that did really well and i really enjoyed it and i thought i'll do another one and i did it again and got more views to the point where i was getting more views outside of my website than i was on my website and then i kind of just slowly transitioned away from my website to making reviews of you know in video format the Trash Taste podcast on YouTube alone has amassed over 92 million views for the full episodes, over 135 million for the Highlights channel, and over 3 million for their new live streaming channel. I don't know. I think it was just a mutual thing where we all had the idea and we'd all done podcasts mm -hmm. before. We were just thought, well, it's the perfect opportunity. I, I think if I were to say, like, it might have really kind of come into fruition and we might have really started to actually take it a lot more seriously when Gaunt first came to Japan to hang out with me and we had like conversations about this idea of a podcast that we do in person but we were always like how do we get each other in person we, we all live in different countries we all have our different you know channels to run and different schedules to follow I think until the whole idea of them moving to Japan it was kind of just left in the back burner a little bit of this might be an idea that hopefully one day we'll be able to fulfill in some aspect. It really did truly kind of sink in that, oh, we might actually be able to pull this off when Gant and Connor got the opportunity to actually come to Japan. Thanks to a partnership with Bookwalker, an online distribution arm of Japanese publishing giant Katakawa, the influencer management company Geeks Plus was formed. In addition to managing influencers, Geeks Plus is bringing them to Japan to see and experience the culture, as well as get behind the scenes of the many industries connected to the otaku subculture. Uh, you guys have been working with like Bookwalker for at that point like two, three years already. Mm. Yeah. So I had data, and so I think in the back of their mind they were already thinking like, oh, if we had this business, it would be interesting. And my superior boss at that time was like giving me a tip. Oh, maybe you should submit that idea because maybe they're mm -hmm. thinking about it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I guess I have enough data, so let's do it. When discussing how up and coming creators can make a name for themselves online, the men of Trash Taste had this to say. I feel like the generic advice that we give is like the core of like it is, the, it is, it is, it is true, is the advice. but it's, it's, it's useless to most people. It, it is useless because yeah. there's only so much you can say at like a half hour panel. Yeah. You know? It's one of those things where it's like, you know, in the show when the old man gives advice and you're like, yeah. that's dumb. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then 10 years later, when he actually does it, you're like, he was right. That's pretty much the advice. <laughs> yeah. Like, cause you're like, it's completely useless to anyone starting out. Cause yeah. that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But when, when you've been doing it for this long, it is the core, like you said. Yeah. But the be yourself thing is like- It is a bit of a cop out. Because you're not yourself as a normal person, you're not a like presenter. You're No one normally is a presenter yeah. or a personality who's made for like camera. Yeah. You have to get that and you do it by 
forcing yourself to act maybe a little bit more exaggerated than mm, you normally yeah. would, right? And then over time, maybe you get way more comfortable and that does become your kind of like default, yeah, right. right? I don't know, because like be yourself to me is like, I guess less accurate than just don't try to be someone you're not. That's true. Mm. Don't like, change your personality. Like if, if you are going to play a character, play a character that is based on your own self, true, which is, true. I feel like what a lot of us do online anyway. You mm. know what I mean? It's just like yeah. an exaggerated, what? perfected version of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. I say like, imagine you on your best day and that is you on every single one of these YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what it should yeah. be. Mm. From Japan, I'm Andy.